Halloween. And it's that time of the month again, the April 2023 monthly update for Driftometer. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to go through each of these um, income streams for the month of April. You can see our total there to start with is £2,340, um, which is way above what I've done in the first three months. Um, a lot of that is because of this £800 here, but I'm going to go into each one as we go. Um, so the first one, each way sniper, uh, had a really, really good month. I uh, see £641. It's only second behind January, uh, which makes it even better in respect of in January. I was still able to put £2.50 each way on both Betfair, sorry, Bet365 and uh, Skybet. They've now both state restricted me for doing this, I believe. Well, that's what I assume anyway. And I'm only getting about 50 pence each way on bet 365 and sky bet so uh, those results are even better i think part of the reason is um i got a few of me mates sort of gambling mates we've got this sort of whatsapp group uh, where we were following tipsters and stuff and we've broke out a second one for each way sniper so we've got a, a, a subgroup uh, that's broken out for each way sniper and got what i'd call um a couple of hardcore gamblers in there they're like they're putting like hundreds of pounds on a day and stuff on uh, racing and stuff like mainly match betting and stuff so it's not like uh, when i say hardcore they're not like uh losing left right and center they're pretty switched on but um when i got those on in mid-april obviously um we we set up this separate group and they've posted a lot of information about their results and a and two of them in particular um lowered the rating from 100 down to 95 um and they got some fantastic days where i think one of them won over a thousand pound in one day just putting five pound each way bets on i think we got a couple well two or three like really high uh odds winners um so i've done the same i'm down mine to 95 and i got the same kind of winning days uh now i'm not totally 100 percent wholeheartedly recommend doing that for everyone but uh don't if you're on 50 pence to see a pound each way give it a try and see what you get you do get a lot more bets on but you do get a lot more winners because of that because you're putting more bets on in one day um how I'm, i will caveat though the last couple of days in april i lost had a cup i think i had three consecutive losing days as did everyone um, so I, I raised mine back from 95 up to 97. So I'm still lower than the 100 I started at, but I'm back on 97 now. Um, but they're still on 95, so I will keep tuned because we're posting now our results on each day onto the WhatsApp group that we have. So that's um, each way snipe. That's done, done really well um, this month. Uh, affiliate marketing, I haven't got into that too much, but it's basically where you just sell or promote products or services online. And anybody using your link, you get a, a commission cut. You get a percentage of the um, actual commission. And that went up again, mainly because I've got a few of my pals on uh, sort of each way sniper. So I get a bit of the, I think each way sniper is £30 a month. So I get a cut of that each month for everyone who signs up using my link. Um, betting Gods, um, that's been a pretty poor month, to be honest. I am going to do a follow-up video on Betting Gods because I still do think it's a really good service i mean i'm saying it's been a really bad month but we've still made a profit and no matter how small a profit's a profit it's not a negative number there so i'm still reasonably happy but i'm still only on i'm still only using two tip stars in betting gods and that's um bookies enemy who last month uh, in april i made five pound which is only one point because of him um uh, actually using five pounds per point I'm reducing that in May down to two pounds fifty, just because I'm using the money for other things. Um, some of the some of the bets were getting a bit like not well. I'd say a little bit uncomfortable for me because, like the Greyhound tip stuff, for example, he was. Um, I think it was a few consecutive days where it was like a five point bet. Now, if you're doing a five point bet on a pound, that's a five, uh, which might seem a lot when you when you normally bet in a pound when your point system is only a pound per point but uh, mine was five pound per point so when he's saying put five points on this five point bet on this dog 
uh, that was 25 quid and a couple of them lost I mean, I mean, it's a few obviously won. I'm still £43 up. But I was religiously sticking to the points and the stakes because I believe if you don't, then you just, you're going to affect your um, overall profit, I think. Um, so it, it is the worst month we've had on betting guards. But um, I think it looks like a lot of bookies had um, poor months. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at betting gods and see what all the other tipsters done and see if any outperformed these two and whether there's any other ones to look at. So I will be doing a follow on that and I'm, I'm still continuing. And um, just for reference, along here you can see 37 and 17 a month. 37 is for the uh, bookies enemy who made me five pounds and um, 17 is for the greyhound tipster who made me 43. So you can see that I've actually lost a little bit when I'm saying a profit's a profit. If you take into account what I've paid out for the month, it's a, it's a small loss, to be honest. Um, but we'll see how that goes, because the previous two months have been fine. I mean, I, went, I got £187 profit there off £2 points. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm running it back into 215 cases another bad month, but hopefully it'll pick up. Um, our insurance on lads are really down down that a bit i didn't do many at all i think i only done four or five and i had uh, one winner in fact i don't even think i done four or five one winner yeah i only had one winner i was 44 profit so i probably only done two or three actually i'll have to go back i wasn't keeping a track on a spreadsheet i've just taken it out of the ladbrook section in uh, odds monkey and you can see in the next one odds monkey i've only done 16 pounds profit i just haven't done much on odds monkey or the ACA insurance at all so they're the total of those two 60 pound that was my profit shown in odds monkey and um, which is these are both way down on what i've done but it's just i haven't really had time with other things mainly this thing down here i've been getting adjusted and things into my new sort of lifestyle um so i just didn't have time to do this plus the dog lay forecast um, that i was doing i concentrate more time on that and more videos if you've been watching uh, videos on the channel you'll have seen that i've been doing sort of a weekly well more or less a weekly update on the dog forecast but we'll come on to that so i've not been as active at all on these two things so i'm going to try and pick those up this month i've already done i missed yesterday i missed the first and the second but i've already put today's hat on for the lads so i'm going to do a little i'm going to do a bit more on it i want to try and get into some odds monkey um offers as well sort of new offers there's there's still bookies i haven't signed up for after like about, like about a year and a half like uni bets one which you can use on there uh, each way snipe as well so i do need to get a uni bets account sorted out i mean i've got um accounts for myself and mrs d and i haven't got a uni bet one for either of us so that just shows there task rabbit um i think at the start of april or the end of March it was, um, I'd done some Task Rabbit um, gigs, just putting IKEA furniture together, took a few tools out to jobs. I'd done uh, one, two, three, f I'd done four jobs over three days. I'd done two jobs on one day, and I made £166. And to be honest, it was really good and relatively easy money. Um, got out of the house away from the computer screen. Um, one of them was put in an office chair together. One was a two-man job where we put a wardrobe together and something else, which I can't remember. And then the third job I put together, uh, like a, a cabin bed for a child. And that was pretty easy. It took a couple hours and got paid probably, I think it was about 28 quid. And actually it was probably more than that, 30, 32 or something. And then the last one was a wardrobe, which was the biggest job, was a wardrobe and uh, another one of the beds. And that was about 70 quid or something. So I ended up getting 166 quid off those jobs. Um, to be honest, I've only got Monday and Tuesdays now available. And um, I was going to continue booking, well, making myself available on the Monday and Tuesday going forward. But at the minute, I'm not. So during me, I'm not going to be doing any more task rabbit. Um, purely because I'm keeping Monday and Tuesdays my days off, and I'm going to um, be doing other things. Um, 
So then moving on to exponential bet, we had a much better month on exponential bet. We made 78 pounds. And I've got just the numbers here just for this one. So it's making it a little easier. So this is um, April. Now you see show our faves, I made 76 pounds, which is a 38 point profit because I was using two pounds per point here. Whoops. All these were just 10 pence. All the ones above are just 10 pence. So um, £1.59 profit meant I had a 15.9 points profit on bet focus. Uh, this was 3 point, 32 pence, 32 pence, 55 pence and minus 78 pence. And that was all of 10 pence bets. Um, this one I was using 2 pence bets and I had a £76 profit. Um, what I'm going to do in May, and I haven't done it yet, even though it's a third, is I'm going to just ditch these top five and just carry on with the show our faves at £2. Um, the reason I have to stay at £2 is because it's £9.99 a month um, for this one subscriber where you can use all these, but you can only have a maximum of £2 stake. So I'm just going to do that for another month or two and see how it goes, because if you remember, um, we had sort of a minus £3 um minus 18 pounds minus 91 pounds and now we've had that's our first positive month so i just want to do a couple of more months probably the next three on two pounds and just see how this goes because i wasn't that impressed with the first couple of months and you can see we're still um, on average it's costing us nine pound a month plus the nine pounds 99 uh subscription so it's costing nearly 20 pounds a month at the moment so i want to see if we can win a bit more back and get this back to level or at least um, back in the green so that's that one. Um, dog layer forecast. This is a strategy I've been doing on Betfair Exchange, just my own strategy and using Betfair Bot Manager as um, as the vehicle to do it. It's it's just all automated, and that's the uh, the profit from this month. So it's been another uh, from April. So it's been another really good month. Um, and what I decided to do after I've made this £496 profit, nearly £500, I think I mentioned in the last video, it was a shame I didn't get to 500 because I was actually nearly at 600 at one point or 590 Um, We um lost a couple of tracks, one or two tracks, so I took it back down to 496 for the month. So I reset everything for the start of May, and it's the 3rd of May now, and to, to be honest, in May, since I've reset, it's been an absolute disaster. Um, I think I lost two tracks on the first day, on the first of May, and uh, one track yesterday. Um, so you need to look out for the next video on that. I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, it's a shame because it's been really, really good. I don't know whether I put the, the issue I've got at the moment is I've lost three tracks in sort of two days, and so that's over a hundred pound losses. Um, so I don't know whether to just call it quits and take the losses and say I've made three hundred pound or try and continue and get this. I don't know these two months. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's difficult to assess on this strategy how lucky I've been or how you know how not so lucky I've been. Because if I've been really lucky to make these two, then I could be in for a loss uh, or quite a big loss going forward. Um, but it has, on on the other hand, it has sort of made a profit for two consecutive months. Um, so I'm just leaving it to see how it goes for now. And the, the problem I have got, I think my Betfair account has dwindled substantially. To, because I was taking out, if anybody's watched the videos during April, I was taking out the profit. So it's not like I've lost all this profit. I've, I've actually been taking it out and putting it in bank accounts. I've been taking it out. It's like hard earned cash. <laughs> Um, so my bet, as a result, the Betfair Exchange uh, balance hasn't been increasing. I had a few bad days on football strategies as well, which I haven't even documented because I'm still working on those. Um, after, a, again, about a month or so of really good results on the football, uh, I had a few bad days like last week. The weekend just gone, Friday, Saturday and Sunday football was really poor. Um, so that reduced the Betfair bank balance and now it's down it's under 100 pounds so if i lose another track i've kind of lost my betfair bank balance so i'm just in two minds at the moment whether to add any money to that or not 
Um, so at the minute, I think I've got a couple on cliffhangers as well, where I was clear, I was resetting the cliffhangers, but I think that I've got two tracks on cliffhangers as well. So um, I, what I'd recommend there is just watch, keep an eye out for the next uh, update video, which will be out in the next couple of days, because I'm going to go over that in more detail, what I've just mentioned there. So that's the total there then, without the bottom one, which I'm going to come on to, uh, which is £1,540, if you look down here, I've totaled those up there, which is absolutely cracking amount compared to like the previous three months. It's kind of double. If I take the average of the last three months, um, it's the average is 768 for the last three months and then this month we're talking and um, without that 800 that i'm going to come on to we're talking um 15 1540 which i think is great for for those um income strategies there obviously i won't have the task rabbit going forward the dog lays in the question and uh, we had a really good month on the each way sniper and me affiliate marketing has gone up slightly and I'll look saying that betting gods is well down, so that could take a that could hike up for the next month, and so could these two. If I put some effort into these two, they would hike up because uh, the Ag Insurance and the Odds Monkey is a it's it's a um, resource thing. Um, the more time and effort you put into it, the more money you're going to make. And so coming on to the last one, then I've also made eight hundred pounds uh, on my new campsite warden job. So I'll go into it in a little bit more detail. Um, I'm basically, me and Mrs. D were doing um, 20 hours a week each on a campsite, just working, kind of cutting grass. Um, they've got a couple of shepherd huts, uh, so we'll clean, we, can, we clean those out when, when there's been people in them and stuff. We just, you know, tidy them up and, and give them a wipe down. Uh, there's toilets to be cleaned, which Mrs. T's getting the brunt of that because she doesn't do the grass cutting. So I do the grass cutting like on a ride on and a hand hand mower, um, and just generally um, doing odd jobs on the site. There's a there's a small cafe with uh, where they do bacon and sausage sandwiches in the morning. Really nice site, actually. Really nice owners. Um, so we're doing twenty hours each a week, and it's 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 probably I don't even know what minimum pay is now, but I think we're only getting about two ten pound fifty an hour, um, but. It is really, really part time. We just had we're getting every Monday and Tuesday off, and so to do we're twenty hours between um, Wednesday and Sunday. We only have to do like four hours a day each. So sometimes she's going working in the morning. I'll do the afternoon, or sometimes we'll both do the morning. And it's quite flexible as well what we're actually doing. Um, we're just doing the work as and when it needs to be done. Obviously, things like um, the facility block uh, with the toilets and showers in needs to be cleaned daily, so that's a set time each day. Um, but what it means is um, we've done 20 hours each, and I've come out with um, £800 after tax, and so is Mrs D, because we're just doing the same amount of hours each. Um, so we're getting paid 20 hours a week each. Um, and the biggest um, positive, I think, for it is the fact that we've got a pitch on the site as well, and it's completely free. So we're in the camper bus. Um, we've got free electricity, free water. We can use the washing machines on the site for free. And so effectively, we haven't got any bills, so it's actually... A really good um, way of living. We're only doing it for six months, so it's April, May, June, July, August, and September. Because outside of those six months, it is a site that's open all year round, but the owners can manage themselves during the other six months because um, it's obviously a lot quieter. So we're here to provide cover. Like we started on the first of April, so the first busy weekend was Easter. We've just had a busy weekend for the bank holiday. Uh, we've got another busy weekend coming up for the next bank holiday. We'll have a busy weekend at the end of May for that bank holiday. And then we'll obviously be busier over the summer and then busy, busy again during the school holidays. Um, so, yeah, it's it's really interesting. It's actually quite varied. I was, con I was concerned that it might not 
the work might not be that varied, but it is. So again, eight hundred pounds a month each at the minute. That was the first pay slip anyway. Um, eight hundred pounds a month each, and we um are doing twenty hours of work each a week, and the rest of the time when we're on site, it's free to do what we want. Um, it's up in Northumberland, so we have been travelling back to the uh, Newcastle area on um like a Sunday night most weekends but last weekend we decided to stay so yesterday and uh Monday we spent our time around the area just like exploring going we've done a couple of hikes went to a couple of bars in the country it was really really pleasurable so I'm really looking forward to that one the weather gets nicer as well because the weather hasn't been great there's been rain on and off and there's rain forecast for this week we've put an awning up next to the Camp our bus, which we've just bought, so we can put that up and uh, sit out and stuff like that. So we've got a lot more space as well than we would if we were just normally in the bus. Um, it's it, to, totally. It's the first time we've done this, and I'm totally enjoying the lifestyle at the minute. We've got no, we've got no bills, so we haven't got any council tax, we haven't got any television license. We've got we've got no bills at all. Um, for this kind, of, we've got no utility bills, gas, electric. Um, don't tell the campsite owner but we're not using gas in the van at the minute either we're just using electric we've got an electric heater but we haven't got that on much to be honest because it's warm enough now without needing a heater we've got a, a what's them things called uh, mrs deal know better uh, the cooker things the fryers the air fryers we've got an air fryer so we're using that for meals we've actually one thing we have got is uh, we've ordered like that hello fresh thing um, so we get our meals delivered each week as well and we just cook those up on a night because it's just uh, more convenient there's no waste we don't need to go out shopping and things like that don't need to go out food shopping so it's probably that's probably the, our most extravagant spend at the moment is doing something like that having those like um, pre well they're not pre-packaged they're like uh, sort of fresh meals delivered where you cook them up yourself um, we're just on the trial period of that so we're getting them pretty cheap at the moment because you get the first I think eight boxes pretty cheap um, but we'll probably continue with that to be honest um, we might be floozies and try a few of the other ones and get the discount deals on all of them or we might just stay with the one we've got because um, there's about I think there's about three or four now available to do all in competition with each other um, so yeah that's about I mean obviously everybody's got <laughs> grocery uh, expense that is probably the only expense we've got at the moment um everything else is included in the sort of job and i i, I much prefer doing the uh 20 hours a week rather than because we did see a couple advertised like in yorkshire area because we were prepared to travel a bit away from the northeast um we did see a couple advertised in yorkshire but they wanted like 40 hours each um and i think that would have been a bit more less less of a hot this is feels like a working holiday that we're on at the moment Whereas if we were doing 40 hours a week each, that would have probably felt more like just work to me. Um, it's really good because if you do like, you're going to do like 9 or 1 and have the whole afternoon off. And if you're not doing, and then if you're doing like 1 or 4 or 5 or 1 or half, or I've never worked after half 4. Because the other thing as well is um, if you work till like 4 or half 4, you can actually um, you, you then take the... A mobile phone for the campsite and if any late check-ins come you go down and see to them and you can get you can put that down as hours as well and it's to be honest it's only like sort of 10 15 minutes max for each check-in sometimes only five um and and that's not much time out of your day really we just pop to the reception area from our bus which is like less than a minute's walk um we'll get there see somebody on the site make sure uh, the happy and everything and that's it back to the back to the bus and just put down another 10 15 minutes or so um and that adds on to the time so i've never actually worked after sort of about three thirty four in the afternoon even when i start at like one or 12 12 or one um but yeah um it's it's great at the minute we're, i mean we've been doing it a month now and uh, to be honest i can see us easily having um, another five months of it without it getting really tedious or boring or um you know to the point where you don't want to do it um that'll give us the opportunity then 
in October or November, probably November, uh, to get back to Spain because obviously with having a place out in Spain, we like to get over there for as long as we can. But Brexit's put a dampener on that because we can only go for three months at a time on 90 days. Um, but what we'll probably do is travel around in October when this is finished, travel around uh, the UK somewhere in October before it gets too cold and then head out to Spain in November. So we can spend November, December and January over in Spain. That's that's the current plan. That's why we've got, that's why we're, you know, we're kind of tied six months here. I wouldn't want to stop partway through the six months and let the owners down because I don't think it's really fair. Like them having to find another campsite warden or two, uh, not really fair. So yeah, we said, you know, once we started, we'd commit to the six month, and that's so uh, that's another 800 pounds, so it should be around 800 pounds. I don't know, I haven't even looked at the pay slip to see what I've been taxed, to be honest. I know I've paid something in, in Nest pension, um, there's probably some NI on there. I'll have a look because I don't know if I've been taxed or not taxed because I might get some emergency tax going at some point, but I'm not planning on um breaching the 12 and a half thousand uh threshold, but I will be keeping an eye on it because I've got some taxable income in this lot as well now uh if we go through the taxable income that would be the uh task rabbit that's actually only the task rabbit and the affiliate marketing at the minute because all the rest will be classified as gambling on uh bookmakers accounts and stuff and gambling's tax free in the uk at the minute so there we go the only thing we have got here is the um affiliate marketing and the obviously the manual uh, campsite warden work okay so it's been a, a cracking month uh, for the drifters um, we're just putting away this 800 each month um, to use for Spain basically use for our travels when we're finished here and uh, we're not spending much at all we've got no petrol or anything like that it's just it's a, it's a great style of living if anybody uh, can do it that way Obviously, we don't have kids and stuff, so you know, if you, you know, if you get on the kids of flu the nest, it's something you can think about doing as well. If you don't need the income, I don't know. I think there's a lot to be said about this kind of lifestyle, rather than I mean, each, each to their own. But um, I have done in the past, up until 2018, I was working uh, 40, 40 plus hours in an office, um, getting a, a reasonable um, income. Um, what I consider reasonable anyway and um, I don't know you, the more you made the more you spent um, at the minute we still get to spend but we don't spend extravagantly but at the end of the day I don't have to work those 40 plus hours in an office um, just bored out my tree uh, so you know it swings and roundabouts really uh, I was getting a bit sort of not annoyed, but like just bewildered by a lot of the the youngins coming in the office with all these great ideas and too much energy and too much enthusiasm, and should I say, um, telling you what to do when you've probably forgotten more than they'll ever learn or more than they'll ever know. Um, so I just thought, time's up. That was 2018. So this is the new lifestyle. Thoroughly enjoying it, um, especially at the minute doing doing what we're doing thoroughly enjoyed the last month um so we're going to probably spend more time on the campsite even on my days off going forward and just going back once a month or something or twice a month at most every other weekend go back at, at the very most so that's the update uh for the driftometer for april uh like i see as you can see we have increased our income substantially even if we take out the 800 which i was keen to do because i wasn't sure whether to include this or not we've increased our income so uh do look forward to uh, more videos where i'll be looking at more income stream ideas and maybe taking some of these off some of the lower value ones take off at some point and put some new ones on or just keep adding and then just um well, I probably won't take them off. I'll probably just stop doing them. Like uh, Task Rabbit, for example, we'll have to stay on to show the hundred and sixty-six pounds. But yeah, um, keep an eye out for future videos, and we will see you later. Cheers now. Thanks. Bye.